Okay, so, there's been a lot of new things this week, uh, you know, the whole perk decks, you know, the revamp of the skills, and, uh, now this whole John Wick and Hitman thing. So, I wanted to give a few impressions, I guess, on the Hitman perk tree, uh, because there's a lot of people asking for that. And in fact, there's a lot of people asking how all of this works, but for the most part, just go into the game, and you'll kind of figure out how it works. It's pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Um, so, impressions of this. Well... Although, let me preface this by saying this is a very fun playstyle. I really love the Hitman perk deck because it just it just adds akimbo weapons. It's awesome. It's really fun. And uh, I do enjoy playing it. But the question is not whether or not it's fun. It's whether or not it's actually usable, say, on things like Death Wish. This will not be a demonstration because, uh, well, we're just going to be on Mall Crasher Overkill. What, what, I, just, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Not really a demonstration, but more or less uh, what I think about it. So, first off, as a quick summary, the Hitman perk deck, unlike the other ones, is uh, unlike the other perk decks, is all about uh, your armor recovery as well as akimbo weapons. So, ambidexterity is for uh, akimbo weapons. Tooth and claw is to get additional stability and ammo with that. And the rest of the skills are about uh, additional recovery time with armor, but you also lose armor. Now. The thing I want to say about the Hitman, this whole thing, is, uh, it's, it is fun, it's not quite practical, sadly. This is the one perk deck where you actually have a, like, you lose something, you know? Every other perk deck, you just, you gain dodge in Rogue, you, da you gain armor in, uh, the tech tree, you gain health in the muscle tree, and you gain other crew stats in Crew Chief, the Mastermind one. But in Hitman, you actually lose armor. Uh, yesterday, actually, it was, uh, it used to be 10, you, you gain 10% faster recovery, but you also lose 10% armor. Uh, I guess they, uh, they buffed it to, it's only, you only lose 5% armor, but you still lose some. And, uh, this is, it's, it's quite noticeable, but the biggest problem is that I find this to be not worth it at all. I mean, I can kind of see this being a thing for light armor ghost users that use dodge, but this is back in the past when ghost was still a thing. You know, as of right now, you can't have both the Hitman and the Rogue perk decks together. So, I mean, it makes sense in that kind of playstyle when you have, you know, you already have low armor, you lose a little bit more armor, doesn't make too much of a difference, but you get increased recovery time, so it forces you to be very careful when you do have armor. But it also allows you to get back into the fight a lot faster. Uh, since we can't combine those two, it's it's quite difficult to to do so. And uh, well, to be honest, I don't quite like where it is at, at this point because the increased recovery rate is is pretty negligible as of yet. Because if you have bulletproof and stuff like that, and if you have the increased health or tech armor, it's they're just straight upgrades uh, the way I see it. So as for the tree itself, it's pretty lackluster. Okay, so now we can talk about the akimbo weapons. I'm just gonna, well, I'll show off the, the four akimbo weapons, of course. The Deagles, Chimato Compacts, Bernetti Nines, and the Cross Kills. Uh, overall, I think the Deagles are overkill, especially on the uh, lower difficulties that's not Death Wish, because, you know, you only need one shot normally to kill something like that. Uh, everything else is uh, pretty nice, pretty nice, but since they don't, take mastermind skills uh, if you didn't know they actually don't take the mastermind you know pistol messiah reload speed damage fire rate anything um, they're really lackluster I mean just looking at the stats you can kind of see how it's they're very average and uh, you're already being gimped by the fact that these are primary weapons and not secondary weapons so you can't bring a stronger primary and you also you also lose the versatility because an assault rifle overall is better in terms of, well, damage, uh, accuracy, stability, and also the like, magazine and everything else. Whereas these have really bad stability. They can get somewhat decent accuracy, but like for the most part, they're they're just not amazing. I mean, they're usually just for close quarters combat. Uh, so um, I don't know if it's. With Tooth and Claw, it is kind of nice because you can see with these, you get 245 total ammo. So it's uh, not bad, but uh, it, it's at the best, it's okay. I mean, that's that's really what I take away from all this. You trade off a lot of things. Like, you have to use the Hitman perk deck, which, you know, you can't use any other perk decks. You have to use it as a primary, and they don't take from skills, so they're fairly lackluster. I mean, just 
overall, it's better usually to bring something else. But at the same time, they're they're really fun. Like I said, they're really fun. Offer a nice change of playstyle, and it's it's really something that I enjoy doing. You know, especially since I love my handguns and all. But it's just on Death Wish, they're very lackluster. They're very quite weak. I mean, the Deagles at best still do. You know, they put out a little bit good damage, but the problem with these weapons is that when you click once, they shoot twice. You know, one from each gun. So, that itself already causes a problem because sometimes you only want to shoot once, but you'll actually shoot twice and stuff. And with ambidextrous weapons, you know, the akimbo, you tend to miss most of your shots. Whereas having just one pistol, you can be very point, you, you can be very on point and hit all of your shots, making pistols more effective than akimbo weapons. And just overall, they're lackluster as of now. And from the way I'm talking, you can kind of tell that I really want to like these because, come on, I mean, you've got the John Wick, like, look, you know, the black bloodstained gloves, the dark suit, and you can carry fucking classy as hell 1911s, M9s, or Deagles, and it's just, they're awesome. You know, in, in badass rank, they're, they're way, they're way off the scale, but in usability, uh, they're, they're pretty lackluster. I mean, completely usable on overkill. You know, no, not a doubt. But then again, most things are usable on overkill. You know, it's hard to find a weapon that isn't good on overkill. Mainly the, the starting weapons. <laughs> but for Death Wish, I tried it a few times, I was not pleased. I mean, you just spend too much time shooting, you spend too much ammo, and it's just... It's just not worth it. It really isn't. You give up too much. You give up a whole perk deck, you give up a primary, you give up, you know, just a lot of other things. So I guess we could talk a little bit about the good things of it. I mean, like I said, it, for Death Wish, it's it's lackluster at best. But for for Overkill, it's more than great. You know, I, I really dig the uh, the cross skills and the M9s. For some reason, the Shimano compacts they start off with 120 ammo, when the secondary starts off with 150. Right? That that to me that makes no sense. <laughs> it shares the same ammo as the the M9, but they give the M9 so much more. So, so far these are pretty lackluster. I'll be bringing them just to show off the pistols, but... Eh. 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 I, I'm not quite sure why they did that. So, I think the biggest thing to take away from this is that they don't have the Mastermind skills, and there's been speculation that, of course, you know, the whole new skill tree, there will be Akimbo skills in those. That would be nice, because as of right now, they're very... They're fun, but lackluster. Lackluster is a word you're going to hear me throw out a lot. Mediocre. Stuff like that. Actually, I will bring an ECM. Nah, I'll bring meds. <clears throat> as for the actual... The new weapon itself... Uh, melee is... Whatever, it's just another melee. But as for the new actual... Weapon, the Shimano Compact, I really like it. Like, it's got the highest concealment of all the pistols, so you can make a nice super concealed pistol, which is a much better than the super concealed Swedish K, in my com in my opinion. And a modded loud, it's pretty good. Right now I have a silent killer pistol build, so I have the pistol skills and silent killer. And I can get uh, pretty, pretty decent stats with it. Not bad at all. Modded right. So, yeah, I, that I really dig. <coughs> So the, the akimbo weapons are very nice in close range, but what they lack is, um, without that nice reload, you know, right now the reload is really slow, you actually, it's, it's hard to keep up, you know, you have to take a lot of cover and such, and like I said, you give up on the whole, the whole other perk deck, so you can't get dodge, you can't get armor, you can't get anything else. I, f I find that the biggest problem with these new akimbos is that they're so restrictive they really give you no other options. Like, you have to use them as a primer, you have to use, like, a certain setup. So, in that sense, they're difficult to use. <clears throat> Is he ready? Oh, by the way, new Hawk's Hood, yay! Have some pizza while you're at it. So, so my take from it is that it's they're okay, 
but on Death Wish, I wouldn't bring them. Maybe, maybe if I wanted to have a bit of fun, to try out some deagles or something in the cross hills, something like that. <laughs> oh, they're so awesome though, just to look at, and just the whole feel of them too. But the slow reload, the the way the firing works too. So when I click the mouse button once, it shoots from the left and then the right, or from the right then the left, and it's always like that. And in that sense, I think it's a little... It could be better because you could actually have... I feel like you could actually have, instead of this, you could have either, like, two other ways. You know, the killing floor way, which is for one click, you shoot one handgun. And then it alternates. So every click is a shot. Right? That, that'd that be a lot better for the deagle, where the shots actually count a lot more. Or you could have it the, the whole COD Battlefield type way. Or not Battlefield, the COD way, where... The right mouse button actually, instead of zooming in, the right mouse button shoots the right gun, left mouse button shoots the left gun. So you could have that instead. I mean these, you can aim with them, but I don't find it helps that much because, well, they're akimbo weapons, you shouldn't be really aiming too far with them. Yeah, your, your effective range should be uh, very, very small. Anyway, let's actually proc the escape. There we go. Nope, I accidentally killed someone instead. God, so many civilians. I don't yell at them, but they don't run away. That's how terrible it is. There we go. So yeah, as for the Chimano compacts themselves, I love it. <laughs> I love it. They're, they're really fun. Thanks, Offer something different than my Gruber. And uh, they share pretty decent stats. Ooh. The low the low mag capacity makes these pretty bad for a uh, akimbo though. And even as a singular weapon, as a secondary, singular secondary, you have to reload a lot. Not that that's a bad thing, but you just different way of playing, as always. So I, I guess the now the biggest question is, you know, will I actually be using it very much? Meh, maybe. I mean, I, like I said, I really love the whole playstyle of it. It's fun, but I do find that I'm very ineffective with it because I spend too much time like trying to kill one guy, and I spend too much time reloading. So in that essence, it's yeah. As of now, it's not it's not something I'll be using permanently, you know, I'll, like if I feel like it, I'll switch to it, but other than that, not too much. I mean, there are plenty of people complaining, it's like, oh, this whole update sucks, you got John Wick, you need to be, why is he even part of the group, and then you get like, oh, do you Kimbo suck? Well, to those people, I mean, like, you can't, you can't, you can't please everybody. For those people, what I say is, go back to your car, your locomotive, go back to your R93, these updates were never meant for you anyway. You guys are not the type of people that enjoy nice new things. And it's the reason why Overkill has such a big problem trying to add stuff for us. For me, I dig it. I dig it. Could be improvements, and uh, I, you know, there is speculation that there will be improvements. You know, with the new skill tree, there's going to be new akimbo skills and such. As of now, it's just whatever. Anyway, th 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 this... This whole video is not really focused on the uh, the gameplay, but rather the uh, just discussing it because, well, I guess you can see a bit of it, but for the most part, it's just try these things out yourself. You know, the perk decks, the the akimbo weapons, the hitman tree, everything. I I really suggest that you you try them out yourself, unless you are unable to because you're on console or something. Well, for that, I'm sorry, but yeah. I mean, they're definitely awesome. It's just mediocre at best. Oh, someone's down. But yeah, I mean, the whole perk tree itself is pretty lackluster. It's a big trade-off. The akimbo, another big trade-off. There's just so many trade-offs. Too many trade-offs for this to be very good. So that's my quote-unquote impression of it. Besides the fact that I actually really enjoy it. I mean, the animations for it, everything about it. 
the whole John Wick feel too. The dark gloves, the dark bloodstained gloves, the dark suit. Holy shit. Why do they keep dying? Then again, I'm playing Overkill with people that have not played the game before, really. Yeah, that happens. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, they're they're mo for the most re for the most part they're whatever. Not quite the most viable setup. Fun, but that's the extent of them so far. Hopefully, we'll see more stuff. I mean, Overkill's always tweaking this kind of stuff, and they're always uh. Well, there's still a you know still a whole good chunk of crime fest left, so there's still going to be stuff added. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. For now, that's my impression of it. I do enjoy it. I do love it. But outside of Overkill, I'm not going to bring it on Death Wish. I have brought it a few times. I've regretted it. <laughs> it. It's just hard to get all the shots on target because of the akimbo nature. And it's it's just... Uh, I want to like it a lot more, but I can't. So, there's that. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, if you actually want to see... Shameless plugin, but if you want to see more of the gameplay of like the akimbos and other stuff, go check out my Twitch page because uh, I spend a lot more time actually showing gameplay. And uh, I wanted this strictly to be like a, a thoughts thing because some people have asked for that. As for thoughts on like the whole perk nonsense, it's it's not too different from the actual game, so I'm, it's not whether or not I like it or dislike it. I'm just gonna get used to it eventually. Offers a little bit of uh, good stuff, offers a little bit of bad stuff, you know. For 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 mo for the mo for the most part, us ghost dodge users, we used to be able to get dodge fairly easily and then be able to get other skills and other perks. But at this point, they've kind of restricted us to using one perk tree. Um, when the playstyle already was quite difficult to uh, play, and not many people actually did play it. But I guess they thought it was a little too easy to be uh, to be able to mix and match both the the dodge as well as anything else so eh, it's it's gonna take some getting used to not being able to be a, a jack of all trades but it'll be all right to be uh just stick to one thing at least for me so yeah uh let me know what you think of the akimbos too i guess